Hey y'all, it's Megs. Welcome back to my channel. So things were pretty tense last night on Real Housewives of Orange County. In last night's episode, Alexis Bellino got a call from John Jansen that she said could change Shannon Bedore's life and not for the better. After Alexis told the women that John had a video of Shannon the night of her DUI, she then said that there were some shocking details about the footage's content. We saw Katie Ganella talking to Emily Simpson, and Katie told Emily that John ended up calling right before we left from our trip, and Shannon did something, and he said all gloves are off, and they're going to release these videos of Shannon. Katie said there's ring footage camera of Shannon almost running over John's daughter. So Alexis the whole time was like, if she doesn't shut up, you know, we're going to release some things. I'm like, well, what do you have to release? Right. Well, John ended up calling her right before we left. And Shannon did something and he said all gloves are off and they're going to release these videos of Shannon. Wait, what? what is it that Shannon did? It was like ring footage cameras of her almost running over his daughter. Yes, and she kept saying, if we release this, she's done. Her reputation is completely done. I just don't understand it. If John and Alexis are so happy together, just ride off into the sunset. Like, why drag Shannon's lifeless body along behind you? I'm afraid it's going to push her to the point of no return. As you saw in the clip, Emily was very shocked about this, and she doesn't understand why Alexis and John are even talking about this. If they were really, truly happy, they wouldn't even need to do this. Emily is concerned that this is going to push Shannon to the point of no return, and I have to agree with that. I think what they're doing is absolutely cruel. Earlier in the episode, we saw Alexis's call with John Jansen, but the call was not shown. But the women heard the aftermath where Alexis broke down in hysterics. Up the car right now and headed out. So I'll be back home in OC in like uh, about two hours. I need help. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah. Katie's here to help. Johnny's on the phone. Hi. It has to do with what I think it has to do with. I am literally going to lose it right now. Gloves are off. Gloves are coming off. Gloves are coming off, Bubby. We're not doing this. This doesn't sound good, Tara. What Shannon is, is doing now is being so, like, I'm, I'm going to freaking lose it all. Oh, like, I wanted this legal stuff? Well, he could only tell me a minute of it, and I could hear it in Johnny's voice. It came to the point where... John has had enough. I think she gets so blacked out drunk she doesn't even remember what she's done or said. What specifically happened to warrant taking the gloves off? I'm not at liberty to discuss what happened that pushed John to the limit. That is a question everyone would have to ask him. But we have the footage. We have the footage. Okay? And like we've held it this whole time. We've held it. I know. There's a lot that I know that Shannon probably wouldn't want anyone else to know. Katie, it'll ruin her life. The video thing. That, uh, what video thing? Is this bad? She's lied, and all I know is truth prevails. Yeah. He's a monster. She's such a piece of shit. I feel like I'm going to throw up. In September of 2023, Shannon was charged with hit and run in DUI while being three times over the legal limit at .24. According to the police, her car hit a residential building when she got out and she was found walking a few blocks from the scene with her dog shortly after. Shannon was later sentenced to three years probation and 40 hours of community service. Then in November of 2023, Shannon appeared publicly for the first time at BravoCon and expressed her remorse. Fabulous, that. Shannon, how are you? I know this has been a very difficult year, but now we're on the other side of it. So how are you feeling? How's your spirit? 
you know what, I feel really good. I've spent the last month, which I rarely have that amount of time, focusing on myself. I went to a behavioral wellness place with an alcohol component in it, and I'm eliminating and have eliminated a lot of the toxic and negative, unhealthy things in my life. So I'm looking forward to moving on, and I'm excited about it. And I am incredibly grateful for these two that have been behind me and really supporting me through all of it. Well, I was saying to some of your castmates, like, I think that when anyone is struggling, the most you want for them is you want them to just hit that breaking point where they then realize it themselves and then start to have the upturn. And so I think on behalf of all Bravo fans, I think people are really proud of you. You know, there's a strength and a, and a resilience in being able to admit that you need help. Um, at what point did you realize, was it the reunion or what point did you realize, like, you know what, I'm going to do this for real? Uh, well, no, I, I realized after my DUI, because I'm typically, in, these guys know, I'm, I never drink and drive, I'm, I'm the Uber girl, but, you know, uh, there were a lot of unhealthy things going on in my life, and I did drink more alcohol, so I wanted to, I, I was offered, actually, multiple free stays at alcohol rehabs, but I chose a behavioral wellness program because I want to figure out what is going on in my head, so I make good choices from now on. I'm so happy for you. You look amazing, by the way. We did see early in the season that Shannon sat down with her three daughters and expressed how embarrassed she was for setting a bad example for them. Shannon said that she got into an accident because she revved up the engine so she could show John how mad she was and that she lost control of the car immediately. Shannon said, I've never had a broken bone, I've never had a concussion, I've never been in an accident, and I've never been arrested, never had a DUI, and I did all of that in 10 seconds. This is heartbreaking because I really, really like Shannon. She is one of my favorite housewives. I want to see her do better, and I really do hope that she continues to get the help that she needs. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about all this. Do you think Alexis and John are being cruel to Shannon? Do you think they're going too far with these videotapes? Thanks for watching, y'all.